Hey guys, Brian here. I want to bring a new channel to you guys, Gluten-Free EDC. The reason for the name is I'm a celiac, so I have to have a gluten-free diet, unfortunately. And yeah, so I figure I'll be your gluten-sensitive representative. Figure if I can't have fun with it, what's the point, right? So I wanted to introduce the channel. So that's what this video is for. I'm mainly going to be going through different knives. So I'll go through my EDC collection again, primarily knives. I'm going to go through what I collect. I collect custom knives. So this is a David Lespect folder. He doesn't actually name his, like he has no models. He they're all one-offs, which is really cool. This one's important to me because it was my first custom knife. It's a really cool knife. It's in beautiful ironwood. Ironwood is pretty cool because ironwood actually darkens over time. So it still retains a lot of the colors. I'm not sure if that's really coming through in this video. But in the sunlight, it definitely, the colors still pop. There's reds, oranges, maybe a little bit of yellow in there, and of course the brown. But this knife, you know, ironwood darkens over time. Ironwood's super dense, so dense, so it's one of the few woods that doesn't float. So really cool material to have on a knife. I think it's pretty popular in the community. This, I'll talk about blade shapes. This is a clip point blade shape with a fuller. The fuller is neat because you can use it to spidey flick or middle finger flick, however you want to refer to that. It's a front flipper, so you can deploy it that way. I'll go over the ways how I deploy knives, just as a quick aspect for most of my videos. And then I'll talk about action as well. So this one, the deployment is fantastic. It's a super smooth knife. It's fairly fall shut. I'm not sure I have a preference. I think I prefer maybe something where I have to give it a little shake. I also am going to be talking about production knives. I have everything from budget up to high end. So for this video, I wanted to share one of my favorite budget knives. This is a Devo Knives Mesh. I'm really into this knife. It's got a decent action, decent uh, detent. I'll talk about that as well. I might get into even some of the takedowns of knives. Even the custom ones I'm taking apart, I'm cleaning them, just a simple cleaning. I'll take you through what I use, how I clean them. Budget knives, I'm totally cool with. I still love them. What I consider a budget, the threshold for me is $100 and less. This still falls into that, although I think this is $110 if you use the code LEFTY10 at Blue Creek Knives. For 8CR MOV, I forget the exact numbers and letters. For, for that type of steel, it strops up pretty easy and it's a titanium scale knife with a steel lock bar insert. Uh, sorry, no steel lock bar insert this is an inset lock so but it's a steel lock which is pretty cool talk about how i carry the knives so this one has a bent over wire clip this other knife the custom I, it, there's no clip i carry this in a slip most of my knives have slips actually but i'll carry them whatever way feels best for that knife i also want to share this custom Garcia Blade Works arc. So the arc is his is Alex's newest model. This is a first come first serve on his group. Beautiful knife. This one has a hand rub. I forget the exact steel he uses, but it's a high carbon steel, meaning that it will rust, but it takes an edge really well. Um, I have not really used this knife just yet other than for some small veggie prep, but this knife is really cool. This one is in rich light as the material and it's got some mosaic pins right here if you can make that out. It's pretty small. 
I do have a video overview of this knife. I think that'll be the first video after this one to come out. So yeah, this knife is really cool. It's gonna form a patina over time. You can protect it. I'll show you how I do that. I have um, a lubricant that I use, Tough Glad. I primarily use now a, some form of a wax. They're usually beeswax is the main component of them. Um, there's Axe Wax um, and many others. I have a few other ones that I'll, sh I'll have a whole video on that. Um, but yeah, so I'll go through stuff like ergos. So a big thing that I'm going to note on all my videos is how the knife works out ergonomically for my hands. I do have smaller hands, but main thing that I'll point out for this video is this angle how it lines up with the blade and first dives into the scales or the handle and then the angle after that. I think that's important because it creates a swell on the hand and a separate angle for your thumb to then lie upon. So that to me is big. Finger choils, how that works out. Um, and yeah, so ergonomics, I'll definitely be going over where the blade shows um, with the scales as well or the handle, you know, is it lower when you hold it? Is there meat left of the blade so you're not hitting your fingers? That'll be important for you know veggie prep and whatnot. I'll also take you through, I mentioned that I strop. I'll take you through my sharpening process. I'll take you through what I use. So I strop primarily. My custom knives primarily are just being stropped up. If I use a custom knife, I'm trying to strop it that day, uh, maybe even mid task to keep them from needing an all out sharpening. My more budget end knives, I will sharpen. I have a simple uh, sharpening system, a work sharp precision adjust. I have it off to the side, which is why I looked over there. But yeah, that is, you know, I believe $50. It's, it gets the job done for what I needed to do. And yeah, so we'll go through the use of my knives. So each video, I'll kind of explain what I use the knife for. I primarily am using my knives for the, they're glorified Amazon package openers, right? I also break down some cardboard. I'll use them on twist ties. I'll use them for whatever, really. What level of whatever is determined by what knife I have. So this one, if I have this knife on me, there's nothing I really won't use it for. You can see in the blade, I'm not sure if that is quite showing, but I've tried cleaning some of the smudges off. Doesn't quite come off. Again, this is a knife that I'll use, probably have forever. One of the main components of this channel will be comprised of unboxings. I have a few pre-recorded and I plan to record more, so I'll have any knife that I get in fresh, I'll do an unboxing of a, you know, you'll get to be a part of that enthusiastic journey into seeing a knife for the first time. I think we all can appreciate when we get that new package in and the feeling we have of opening it and seeing it, getting it in hand for the first time. I think that'll be big uh, for this channel. I'd also like to do some knife overviews I don't want to call them reviews because I'm not putting them through any specific tests. I'll explain how I've used the knife again, but it's really going over the steel, the finish of the blade, the blade um, shape. So for instance, this one is finished with an acid stone wash. The acid wash is great for um, most knives in my opinion because it reduces the likeliness of corrosion or rust forming because it forms a layer of black rust. The black rust doesn't allow rust to get underneath, so it's helpful. Stone washing, I think, is great just because it makes it more easy to use the knife. So something like this with a beautiful hand rub satin finish, that's going to show scratches a little more easily. I don't mind. It's going to be scratched up eventually. It is what it is. I actually had uh, a Kydex sheath made for this and Alex, when I was talking to him, the maker, was saying, you know, that is going to scratch the blade up a bit and I, I 
was saying, I really don't mind. Uh, the scratches are, you know, a part of the knife. It'll make it look cool. Another component that I'd like to bring, what I really hope to dive into for this channel would be community engagement. I've talked with a good few people over on Instagram, over uh, through YouTube, Facebook, kind of everywhere. I'd like to talk to people about how they use their knives. I have a few points that I'd like to cover with each individual. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a dive on their knife collection, uh, what they're into currently. And yeah, so I think that will be a really cool aspect that I'll bring. Not that anyone else isn't, but it'll be my flavor, right? My style. So again, we'll have some custom knives. I'll take you through my entire collection, all the custom knives. I'll take you through all the production knives, the fixed blades. I have a bunch of each. I'm definitely addicted to knives, as you can tell. And I'm really happy to be bringing this to you guys. I've been wanting to do this. So this is the intro video. I'll have a video up shortly to follow this one and unboxing. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to growing the channel with you guys. I think the channel is going to be more top down view where it's going to be looking on a desk for the knives. I think that's going to be the primary video format uh, moving forward, but we'll see. I'm going to kind of let the channel grow into what it is. So thanks so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Looking forward to more. Take care.